Hi guys, welcome to the Art of Server. So in one of my previous videos, I explained to you guys why I think workstation class machines make for a great starter server. And this is especially true if you're just starting out and you're really not ready for the full rack mount setup. And so you probably prefer to have your server in a desktop type form factor. Workstation machines are basically server grade enterprise components inside a desktop case. In that video, I showed you guys my HP Z840, which has an onboard LSI SAS RAID controller based on the SAS 2308 chipset. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash that RAID controller to IT mode so that you can use the HP Z840 with ZFS, Unraid, TrueNAS, or any other similar technology. This procedure will also apply to the HP Z820, which basically has the same onboard LSI controller. Now, before we get into that, do me a favor and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you'll never miss a video from me. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm in front of my HP Z840 workstation right here, and I have my FreeDOS USB flash drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot this machine. We're gonna boot up into this FreeDOS flash drive, which has all my firmware flashing tools. And we're gonna go ahead and show you the procedure on how to flash that RAID controller into IT mode. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we're gonna reboot this machine. All right, so here I am at the boot up screen. I am pressing down F9 to get into the boot menu. And also I'm gonna hit F11 so we can look at the option ROM screen here. And so you'll see this is the LSI SAS controller 2308-IR. So this is currently running with the RAID uh, firmware. All right, so I need to boot off of that USB drive, which I believe is this legacy dash uh, long number. That's just the way it shows up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And all right, so here's the bootloader for FreeDOS. Now we are in FreeDOS. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the folder for the 2308 uh, chipset firmware. And yep, so here you'll see the 9207-8.bin. That's the firmware that I'm gonna need. And I have the SAS to flash utility here as well. So we're gonna to have to first erase the firmware, but actually before we do that, let me run this command. And we'll do it on the first controller, do a list. And we, you know what, I'm gonna redirect this output to a file, I'll call it Z840 dot txt all right so let's take a look at that file and the reason so that command by the way dash c is the controller uh, number so zero is basically the first controller and dash list is going to give us uh, a listing of all the information about that controller so if we take a look at that file you'll see all the information that was extracted from that controller and you can see that it is under firmware uh, product id it is in ir mode uh, but more importantly is the SAS address. So sometimes during the process of flashing the firmware, you might end up accidentally erasing the, the unique SAS address of that controller. And so it's important to just kind of make a record of it so that if we do lose it, we have a way to recover it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do because this is currently in RAID mode, we have to get rid of that, that firmware. And so we do that by running the SAS to flash command. We'll uh, run that against the first controller, so dash C0. Uh, we're going to do dash O to enable the advanced menu options. And then we're going to do dash E for erase. And the level that we need is level 6, which is going to erase the firmware flash. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right. So next step is to basically flash the IT firmware onto that controller. And so we're gonna rerun the same command uh, with dash C0, dash O, but we're gonna give it dash F. And we're gonna give this the 9207. 90, all right, hold on a second. I've apparently got num lock on. 9207 dash eight dot bin 
And we're also going to flash the uh, LSI BIOS ROM. So that is the MPT SAS 2.ROM. And I'm gonna also go ahead and do the UFI ROM. So that's the x64 SAS 2.ROM file. So this is going to put the uh, LSI version, uh, the latest LSI version of the 2308 chipset uh, IT mode firmware along with the uh, BIOS ROM for the for the LSI controller and also the UEFI ROM. So we'll go ahead and hit enter now. All right, so that looked like it completed successfully. And now I'm just going to run a list again to confirm that we've got everything and make sure that that SAS address did not get erased in the process. And if it did, we can always write it back, but let's go take a look at that. All right, so as you can see, unfortunately, the SAS address did get wiped out. As you can see, it is all zeros right now. So let's go ahead and find the SAS address that we had earlier. And we'll go ahead and write that back into the controller. So the command for that is uh, dash C0. So we're going to SAS to flash dash C0 for the first controller, dash O, or lowercase o, I seem to be having a little bit of a problem here. All right, lowercase o uh, for the advanced menu, and then we're gonna do SAS add, and then we'll go ahead and enter this SAS address. So that's 500143803530824. So you don't need any of the dashes, by the way. You can just enter uh, the digits. All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so let's go ahead and run the list again and just confirm that we now have the SAS address in there. All right, there we have it. The SAS address is back in the controller. The controller is now in IT mode with the latest and greatest LSI firmware uh, for the 2308. All right, guys, so now this Z840 is basically ready for ZFS, Unraid, or TrueNAS, or any other type of software RAID uh, storage subsystem. So anyway, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up. And if you'd like to support this channel, go check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link down in the video description below. I've got all sorts of server parts as well as workstation parts for the HP Z840 and other uh, similar workstations. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.